let's go ahead and get into it. You know, it, like I said, football is so close. You know, and, and they picked a really good game to start off the season. You got the America's team, the Dallas Cowboys, versus the reigning Super Bowl champs, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's talk about the Buccaneers first, the home team, right? They grab Tom Brady. They go out, win a Super Bowl, bring back all 22 starters, and then they're going to start the season again. They're trying to run it back. Think about that. They win the Super Bowl, and the team that wins the Super Bowl, they bring back all 22 starters. That's the type of teammate Tom Brady is. He's a great teammate. You know, he calls you on your BS. He makes you better all around, and he tells you good job when you do the right stuff, right? He's like the perfect parent, right? That's what it is. He's like the perfect parent. He makes everybody around him better. His winning is contagious. They've got great weapons. They have an amazing defense, a good offensive line, and the greatest quarterback to ever play football. And they're overall, they're just going to be a really, really good team all year. But it's not as easy win as I think people are making it out to be. I think the Dallas Cowboys have a lot of potential, right? And I know I got a bunch of Washington football team fans that follow me and subscribe to me. Thanks to uh, JPA Football and Football Team on the Daily is a friend of mine. I post my stuff all the time. Bunch of Washington fans. But I will say this. The Dallas Cowboys, top five offense and bottom five defense as of right now. If they can come out and have an average defense throughout the year, they are Super Bowl contenders. That's how good that offense is. right? If they came out with... Just a defense about as good as the Giants, for example, right? And everybody talks about how good their defense is. I don't think it's that good, actually. But if they came out with an average defense like the Giants, they're Super Bowl contenders. They got a bunch of new faces on that defense, a bunch of new faces. Eight out of their 11 draft picks this year were on defense, right? And we only need a few of them to be stars. Michael, Michael Parsons, Micah Parsons, right? Definitely going to be a star. That dude's speed, his downhill, his angles when he's running out the running back. Like, there's no turning up field against Micah Parsons. And then I think, I really like Nashawn Wright. I, I, I made a video about that when they drafted him. People were like, why'd they draft him? They shouldn't have drafted him this early. Man, I'm telling you, I was, I was really hyped on him. He's 6'4", whatever he is. He's a defensive back. He's really, really good. If they can have two out of the three new defensive stars come on, they could change. Man, you only need a few people to turn that defense into an average, average defense, and they can be really good. They can be really, really good with an average defense. And I think that's possible with the with the amount of talent that they're trying to add, right? And they're none of these, not all of them are going to be ready. Nation Wright probably won't even start, right? But they're going. That's going to be a really solid team if they can get that defense up. But that's the if, right? You got the you got a team that's perfect all around with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and then you got a team that has a really good offense. It's going to score a lot of points, but I think they're going to give up a lot of points as well. Overall, I think it's going to be a lot closer game than everybody says, but I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will win this one 31 to 27. Hey, you finished the video. I don't know how you sat there for the past few minutes and stared at my face while I talked, but if you want more NFL content like this, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell icon, and liking the video. Appreciate it. Peace.